Plus, we are keeping our eyes just to the east of Florida, north of the Bahamas, for maybe some tropical development. Now, at the moment, based on satellite data and some of our buoy data, it does look like a low is trying to form. Although you look at the thunderstorm development late this evening, it is waning. So it is certainly not increasing in intensity right now and if anything does try and form it would likely be fairly slow to do so but it does have a 50 percent chance of development in the next several days per the national hurricane center and you can almost see this broad circulation that almost looks like it is sinking south toward the northern bahama islands there is nothing well organized with this system just yet i was showing you our buoys now notice the center of this is drifting south at the moment and it's probably going to meander in this area for the weekend but over the course of the weekend, we will see if it's able to kind of get its act together. Notice more of our computer model guidance is, is suggesting kind of a general motion westward, maybe toward Georgia, the Carolinas, or perhaps getting into the Gulf of Mexico. But even if it gets into the Gulf, that's not a reason to worry. Here's what the GFS does. Not really an organized system moving into the Gulf, kind of an open wave, if that, and staying down to our south. The Euro had been a little bit more aggressive and developing maybe a more organized system. I'm not going to say if it's a name system or not, but then keeping it more along the northern Gulf Coast, which would then bring us a better chance of rain for Tuesday going into Wednesday. Right now, there is still so much uncertainty and it does have a tough time. We have wind shear and very dry air that are really going to limit any kind of rapid development or really any development of this system at all. So we will watch it, but right now doesn't really look to be much of a threat. 95 our high tomorrow, 40% chance of rain over the weekend. The high builds back in for early next week, and we'll be keeping an eye on the tropics. But at the moment, it looks like we'll start to see some scattered showers return to the area. Okay, thank you so much.